All right, I'm going to take a minute and talk about some of my influences on the harmonica. I'm going to forget. It's too late to write anything down at this point. Uh, I've got some notes, but uh, I'm going to forget names. So go ahead and just post in the comments and add the names that I should have remembered and, and had failed to mention. Uh, because if you can think of them, they're probably a fairly good influence on me. And that's the trouble. There's so many. Where do you start? Uh, but maybe you'll get some new names out of this today. And I'm not necessarily going in order, but I, I will start with the, the bigger influences towards the top. All right. Most of this is blues harmonica influence for me. Uh, so just know that. Little Walter, Kim Wilson, William Clark, James Cotton, Gary Primich, Big Walter Horton, those are the very top of the top for me. All the Chicago guys, Junior Wells, Carrie Bell, Billy Branch as well as James Cotton that I, I mentioned, uh, Big Walter Horton, we already, I already said that. Um, Paul DeLay would be another big name on the list for me because this guy just, he, he came, he was one of the few players that had his own approach to often playing straight ahead blues, but he played it in such a unique way. His phrasing and his note choices were just awesome. And Paul is no longer with us. Neither is Gary Primich, who has got to be at the very top, top for me, uh, top three or four players uh, that have just, again, I think what does it, besides the fact that he has great tone, great passion, great timing, all the essential ingredients to make a great player, he was unique. He, he never played like anybody else, at least that I heard. He had his own way of just phrasing, kind of like Paul DeLay. And for me, that was huge. It taught me different ways to express myself uh, on the harmonica. William Clark would pro possibly be at the very, very, very top for me. And, and I'll tell you why briefly, because William Clark uh, not only brought the passion immaculate technique, possibly some of the best technique you, you'll ever hear uh, for, for, for blues harmonica, just how polished his playing was. But he again had his own unique, he was learning from horn players and organ players and his phrasing and his lines were just so intricate and it went beyond the traditional sound of just blues harmonica. So he was taking it to that next level, and, and William Clark passed away in the mid-90s, if you don't know it. You should, have, you should own all of his stuff. You really should. You should own all of these guys' CDs, at least one or two from each. Um, Kim Wilson's, you know, the king of blues harp today. He's, he's, got, the, he's got the whole package, so uh, Kim Wilson has got to be up there also at the very, very top of my list. Uh, other names I'm failing to mention would be <laughs> George Harmonica Smith and Charlie Musselwhite. George Harmonica Smith, big sound, like big Walter Horton kind of tone, third position. Charlie Musselwhite, again, he had his own little style going on. Um, so Charlie Musselwhite was big influence for me early on. And Snooky Pryor, Jimmy Reed, how can I forget that? So again, the list kind of goes on and on, but I really did listen to all of these guys a ton and kind of grabbed something from each of them, if not many things, that I pulled into my playing and I'm still pulling into my playing uh, each time I listen to them. So that's my list. I'm going to stop talking and go ahead and post some names that I'm forgetting. <laughs> it's going to kill me. Um, should say like Rick Astrin as well. Good, good modern player. Uh, and Mitch Cashmore. Let me just not forget Mitch. I'm glad I remembered Mitch. Uh, I didn't find him until recently, but holy crap. I don't think that he's got to be one of the very top. As far as from technique and his ability, proficiency, and ability to stretch beyond that blues, straight ahead blues harmonica thing. Holy crap. Mitch Cashmore. Tremendous player. If you haven't listened to him, go go buy his CDs. I'm telling you, Mitch Kashmar, K-A-S-H-M-A-R. Okay, I'll see you very soon. And if you don't know it, I'm offering 20% off of everything at harmonica123.com between now and the end of the year.
If you want that discount, email me at ronnieshellist at gmail.com. I'll be back with more lessons and tips and other good stuff soon.